that you can have 100 million rupiah in your mobile cash in Tokopedia with only the knowledge of coding? What if I tell you that you can search who is the most beautiful person in the world and your name will come? What if I tell you that you can alter the internet into what you want it to be? So let me do a quick demonstration. Now, as you can see, I have zero cash in my talk video. Now, let me share a bit of a secret. In Google Chrome, you can right-click, and there's something called Inspect Element. Now, in Inspect Element, sorry, in Inspect Element, it gives you the ability to alter one's website, to alter the code of a website, which in this case, I can make 100 million rupiah in my Tokopedia account. Now, this is not, it's not only limited to online shops. Let me share something else. For example, if I search most handsome man in the world, so I feel like I'm not very satisfied with this result, right? So I can click inspect. Do what you can touch, do what you can feel, and yeah, most probably you can see and you can interact with. 
So this is just like the front end of any application. When you open Instagram and you see the buttons, the font, the text, the layout, the color, this all is part of the front end. Now, everything here is a part of the front end because I only have access to the code of the front end of Google or Tokopedia and stuff. That is why I only can alter the look of it and not the inside of it. That is why when I refresh the page, it will go back to the original. And my silo will be back to zero again. So, and the back end is like your internal organs, your stomach, your heart, your lungs. You can't see them, but you know they're the reason you're breathing. Just like this. You can't see the database behind, you can't see the function behind, but they know, you know, that they work behind. So I would like to introduce a concept known as MVC, Model View Controller. Now, MVC is a web architecture of an application, and if you ask me, do every single application use MVC? The answer is no. But a lot of them use it, yes, and it's a very simple concept to understand. So, I would like you to imagine a coffee shop, right? When you pass by a coffee shop, what is the first thing you see, right? You see, how does the coffee shop look like? Does this place look decent or not? Uh, we can smell the coffee, right? And maybe you see people buying it, ordering it, and you get tempted to try as well. You see the barista making the drink. And this all is the view. Whatever you see with your eye is part of the view. The, that's why it's very important to make it so attractive. So when you, you, you get, um, curious about it, you want to explore. And yes, the view is part of the front end of an application. Now, when you enter a coffee shop, you go to the cashier, right? And you take your drink, for example, one green tea latte. And the cashier takes the order and tells the barista. And the barista starts working on it. What happens is the brain of the cashier and the brain of the barista is your controller in your PC. Controller. Now, what happens is the controller takes a request from you, users. And they process it. They start working on it. Just like how the barista takes in the order and it starts making a drink. However, what is the barista making? The tools. The tools. The shaker, the mixer, the coffee machine. These all are the ones that limits to what the barista can do. And this is the model. The model limits to what the controller can do. Now, the model, if you see the tools, what do they interact with? They interact directly with the resources. The tea, the milk, the coffee beans. And these resources are just like data. Just like data because the model directly interacts with this data through the database and the controller controls it. Now, when the barista finishes getting the request and he makes a drink, right? He makes coffee beans, he makes a whatever, and the milk, and all this, he gets a drink, one great deal thing, and he gives you. Now, this is just like an application, right? Maybe we send a request and the controller takes it. The controller starts working on it, starts working on your request limited to the model. The model limits the controller and the model interacts directly with the data. Because every single application you use right now, everything is just data manipulation. So that's about it. That's a glimpse of how applications work. Now, what is the reason I'm sharing here this for you today? There are two reasons. Firstly, the importance of technology. Number two, um, the approach. How important approach is. Now, the, I know a lot of people that ended up giving up in way and find things boring. I mean, find programming in general boring because of how difficult it is, because of how, uh, you know, programming is all about writing lines, right? And that's why people find it so boring. And that's the thing. It's the approach. If I can explain to you in the form of a coffee shop, it means that you can approach programming and you can even study anything in a different approach and you can understand it so much better. Um, that is why I'm going to share to you today is because um, you can learn anything with the proper approach. Now, importance of technology. Now, if you have ever find value in any of the things I said, for example, uh, ordering an Uber, ordering a Grab, right? uh, posting a picture on Instagram, buying something from Tokopedia or Amazon. If you ever find value in any of these things, it means that coding is all over. It surrounds you. It's the future. That's why people call coding the next universal language. So I hope you learned something from my talk today. My name is Asim Thank you so much. <laughs>